Hello everyone, so it's the time when I'm going to give you my next two weeks of sales updates. So it's now the 2nd of August, so I've had all, I've now had time to get all my sales done and, and everything shipped out for the second two weeks of August, or of second two weeks of July, sorry. Um, so let's just go into it. So I'm now going to switch on to my camera, new camera view. Um, it looked like it's quite successful from last week. I've seen some of the comments saying thank you very much on there. Now a few people I've seen have downloaded the app as well. So, um, so I'm now going to switch over to the app now and show you what we've sold for the next two weeks. Okay, so I'm going to change, I'm going to try it a little bit this time. I'm going to have the phone on the landscape this time. You don't see as many things coming up, but it might stretch a little bit better on the TV screen or, or monitors, whatever you're going to look at if you are looking at landscapes. So, um, so finishing off then, so the last thing we talked about last time was this Warhammer Tactical Squad for 8.99. Uh, then I had a, a couple of days gap with nothing actually selling, uh, but then again, I wasn't really doing too much. I was more concerned about my house at the time. And then I had some really cheap sales going. Yes, yeah, so you can see uh, on the 17th, I had some of my Trivial Pursuit cards go out. So um, they pay postage on them. And again, some more Trivial Pursuits. More, so there's a big Trivial Pursuit day that day. Um, and then this is one of my first of my big hall nerf guns. Remember, I spent thirty-five pound on four, five guns, I think it was, with a box of all other random stuff inside it. Um, so, so this is the first one to go. It was the Nerf Havoc Fire uh, with twenty-five darts. They were completely random darts. They weren't all the same. Some Velcro, some not Velcro. Um, just ones I had laying around. Fully tested it, uh, didn't have no tripod and got £40 and that went over to Germany, I do believe, by the Global Shipping Program. Um, next one was to go, was a PC CD1 roller coaster. I paid 50p from a car boot sale, or chat no, from a charity shop for this, I do believe. I can't remember exactly, I think it was 50p. I just got it because I liked the fa um, fancy box. Couldn't find any information on eBay whatsoever, no sales or anything on there, no listings. So I just put a random ballpark of £10 and see what happens. And it went. Um, this was out of that same job lot of um, stuff that I talked about with the Nerf guns. This was inside there for £35. I sold this for £16. Um, I got positive feedback on it as well, which is a face guard and the thing. What I didn't realise, this went over to Shetland Islands and had to pay an extra £2 on postage, uh, which I didn't factor in so on this. So something to watch out for. If anyone that ever does this, um, offer free post or something like that. Um, when people do go to the Channel Islands or the Shetland Islands and remote places, my Herms will charge you an extra £2 for remote postcodes. Yeah, so to, I didn't realise that, so I'm lost out a little bit, but hey, uh, I learned a lesson from that. Um... Box set of books paid, for, I can't remember how much I paid for these, I think I paid £4 maybe, um, from Horrible Science, um, 20 books, free post from £16. Um, this has been sitting on my shop for a while, I did have it for, I think started off at £19, and suddenly dropped down and suddenly I got an offer for £8, it's taken up a lot of space, it's very big and bulky, I just want rid of it, so I was happy to accept £8, again I only paid £14p for it, so making big money every time. Um, some of the Lego sets now, so um, I started to sort out the big halls of Lego. This was a Lego City plane, sort of tail, t uh, lots of bits of plane, a fuselage sort of stuff, just randomly set together. Um, 6 49 I do charge 2 99 postage on all my Lego things, but they are combined postage, so um, they can buy multiple things and you pay for one lot of postage, hence why it's on there. Um, this was a PS2 SingStar bundle, games bundle. Um, five games, a couple of things. I, I picked all this up, I think £3 at a car boot sale, uh, something like that. Um, in overall, I buy all separate and I bundle them all up together and I make a nice bundle. So £19 plus, plus shippage, sort of on there. Um, Junior Scrabbles, had these sitting around for ages again, dropped some prices just to try and clear them out, and suddenly it went 7 49 Nice and quick and easy sale. Um, some more build a bear sort of stuff. This was out of the same job lot of stuff which I had um, in that big box of Nerf guns which I sold early on. So again, you can see £35 investment. I made £40 for the gun, £16 for the, um, the visor, another tenner for some build a bear goggles and helmets. Um, 
this one here, it was for £40 for all four beers, but someone messaged me saying they just wanted one of the beers only. Um, well, I'm not splitting it up, so I offered them £15 for one beer. Um, they took it, I paid £2.50 for the beer. So I've just got three left now, so I'll relist it again and put it back up. Um, some more Lego sort of things, it's just Lego bikes for £4 plus postage, nothing special on there. Um, I think um, roughly in a day later, the second Scrabble went. I had two listed, and, it's, and the second one went straight away, so <laughs> that was quite nice. More Trivial Pursuit cards. Again, lots of Trivial Pursuits. Um, some Lego minifigs. Um, it's not one minifig. They bought a three, I think, minifigs for um, the Rockstar. So it's 11 plus po that's free postage. I dropped my Wii's down as well. I've, I've noticed... I wasn't selling the Wii's for ages. I've had, I haven't sold one for ages and ages. So I looked into it and saw why the price has dropped dramatically. Yeah, so um, so what I did, I dropped my prices down. The second I dropped my prices down, I sold three black Wii's, I think it was. Yeah, three black Wii's, 38.97. Yeah, sort of on there, went out straight away. Um, the Zelda cart, um, this here, I picked this one up inside a, I picked a Game Boy up for £4, and this was actually inside the Game Boy itself, so, but I have sold this one twice, I made a mistake once, that um, I didn't realise I had my, another Zelda game, um, so I sent the wrong Zelda game out to someone, um, they said they sent it wrong, so they sent that back, but in the meantime, I lost this game, I don't know where it was whatsoever, so what I had to do is find another seller who was buying it, and sent it over and got them to send it over to them, and I bought the other one for nine pound. Yeah, so um, so I found this one again, relisted it, and got fifteen pounds. So I was in a win anyway. I didn't pay for the game; it came free of another thing. I sold the other one for fifteen pound, and then had to buy another one for eleven pound. So I made about a pound onto the, onto that because with photos going back and forth like a yo-yo. Um, so I was down, a, I was still up a pound, and I paid this again. So I've actually made sixteen pound out of this one by selling it twice. Um, Lego set, um, I went down to someone's house a few days ago and bought um, a Nerf a Havoc launcher again for a £10 and I, I had to have got anything else, they said we've got this Lego set here for a tenner and I sort of hummed and armed, opened it up, built it when I got home and it was all complete so I put it on there for £30 with shipping and it went within a day of listing. Um, some Playmobil, I had a Playmobil castle, nowhere near complete, it cost me far too much money to really um, to get it all back again. So. Um, I just start splitting it up and I sold little bits at a time. Um, some travel games, again, I'm having a clear out, so I'm reducing some prices and sort of kept getting them out. £5 free postage. Um, this is one of my Harry Potter book sets. So this is paperbacks 1 to 7 plus B Labard. Um, it was up for £29. Uh, it's been sitting on there for a couple of months, not gone. Dropped it down to £27 and it went fairly straight away. Um, Last couple of things, so black picture again sitting on there. So I've, I've, I've had probably theme. I've slashed my prices on my board games because I've had so many of them. I only pay 14 B for them anyway, so I'm getting a lot of money. I'm just trying to reduce some stock, sort of old sticky stock, to make way for new stuff sort of coming in. So I went for eight pound. Um, another Nintendo Wii, so 13 pound for the white one. Um, I'm doing quite well on a horse riding helmet. Pick them up at the car boot sale between three and four pounds. I think I paid three pound for this one. This was up for twenty five pound, but in the end I got 19, twenty pound plus three pound shippage, sort of for it. Um, so this was a part of the Lego box set. I got a Duplo box set. Age I paid five pound for a big box of Duplo. I sold the box off with with the Duplo bricks inside it ages ago for fifteen pound I do believe, and then um, I've had three other sets, three four other sets in it which I made little up so, um, for seven eight pound on this. This is the last one of the lot for seven fifty. Uh, this was a new Nerf gun strike which I picked up last, not this Sunday, the Sunday before. Uh, I finally sorted them all out a few days ago and um, they went within a day of actually listing. So I listed them on the 29th for the 26th, or 30th if they were starting, go they're starting going. So this is £17 for these two with 20 darts. I buy the darts, they sell from China for penny pennies. So I'm always putting them in there, sort of on there. Um, second one, dart tag, went the same day. So another £16 on those. Um, Woody, 
I paid 50p, I think, or one pound from a cha charity shop, um, sort of on Woody, with a draw cord, and um, that went out. It's been sitting around for a while, but I kept the price. Uh, I've got 11 pound plus three pound postage. Um, these teddies, um, when we first picked them up, thought they were originals. Uh, my wife picked, thought they were originals. We were looking into them, they had no real fizzy marking. They were original Disney ones, so we had to drop the prices down because uh, they weren't original. Uh, but as soon as we dropped them down, they sort of went straight away. I only paid £2.44 for them, yeah, so still made some money on there. Um, Scrabble boards. Um, I started splitting some of the games up. This has been sitting on there for a couple of months. Couldn't work out, couldn't work out why no one's even looked at it. And I found out I missed the R out of Scrabble. So <laughs> I put the R onto Scrabble and it went within a couple of hours. Yeah, so I thought, oh, typically I've been dropping the prices down, trying to, trying to get them over. But I changed to, I had a spelling mistake, put the right spelling in there and it went straight away. So I've got another one of these, which I'm going to list. And that's it. That brings on to the next month. So I'm going to switch over to the other channel now. So I hope that worked fine, that um, having filming on the landscape instead of portrait um, makes it a little bit easier to see what I was selling. I sort of on there, I don't really know yet, I haven't tested it, so I'm going to upload this video, have a look at it. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll go back around to the other way. But um, I've had a few good sort of holes, sort of good sales sort of coming in um, by the end of the month. I had a bit of a lull in the middle due to I wasn't actually listening to anything. I let the shop sort of die down while I was trying to sort my life out. But um, we're coming on and this is, I'm just still clearing out some of the old sticky stock. And I've bought a load of new stuff, which the videos can be coming on as well. It might be before this one or after it. I haven't, I've filmed it. I haven't edited it yet. Same as this one. I haven't done it. So we can see which one to go on first and then play it from here. But thanks very much and I'll see you later on. Bye for now.